it ended up going horribly where I just felt so taken for granted. Client boundaries is the topic for this week's show with your host Andrea at Shine with Drea and Jenny at Jenny A. Hansen. Let's Hello, get started. Hello, we're watching or listening to this week's episode of Beauties Talking Business at beautystalkingbusiness.com, also over on iTunes. So if you have not subscribed to our podcast, please do so. And you are here with your hosts, Andrea Pettingill and Jenny A. Hansen. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, and this is all Drea's idea with the podcast. We were just talking about how cool it would be to have a podcast on iTunes. And it was like, okay, let, let's try it. And we got accepted. And now we're there. So it's just so exciting that yeah. after so many months, we hit our goal <laughs> but anyway this week um we're going to be talking about client boundaries which is heavy it's juicy it's a little bit scary but we're gonna go there let's go there let's go there we gotta do it so let's go there so let's talk about why we need to go there okay why is it important to you jenny <gasps> dude i just just ask me okay so why it's important to me is because if i don't respect my boundaries with clients, then I end up putting myself in situations where I can be taken for granted. I feel taken for granted, which builds resentment. And then it just doesn't make me love my job and what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. it really all boils down to me and my choices of not holding boundaries. And this is true for any relationship, not just yeah. your client. I was just going to say, I was just going to say it. The first one is family. Like, you know, when you're like, Oh my gosh, like in beauty school, you're like, let me do everybody's nails for free. But then it's like, will you stop not paying me? This is my job, like pay me. And so your family, <laughs> that becomes one of the first lessons and like boundaries because you have to be like, okay, you know, you got to decide that. And that's unique to everyone's situation. And, you know, for people who like would do me like a huge favor, like if I had kids and someone would like watch my kids, I would totally do their nails for free, you know, but like you got to set those decisions beforehand instead of making the decision right there when they're ready to pay or ready to make an appointment or whatever that is. The boundaries need to be made and established, chosen and followed. <laughs> right. And see, I have great boundaries. I just need to be careful and better with following them. Yeah. And I don't know what my hair is doing. Anyway, so one thing that I really feel is important, and it sounds, I mean, it sounds bad, but it's very true that you train and you teach people how to treat you. Correct? Correct. So... I think that Dre is very good about this um, and I need to really learn from her in this, but with time. So I will find myself in situations where clients will show up late and instead of me, instead of having them reschedule, I will just say, okay, okay, okay. My people pleaser thing comes in and I will say, we're fine. We're fine. We can do this. We can do this. And then it's like I either am rushing through the service and it's not as like a effect. It's not like as, as um, what's the word? It's not as luxurious quality. It's not as quality. Or then they are used to having a certain amount of time too. So even if they're late, they'll kind of take their half an hour or take their hour anyway. Yeah. And then I'll have other clients start showing up and the client in the chair doesn't necessarily care. And then it, I end up having others wait and they get behind. Yeah. And so a part of me not enforcing being on time is yeah. affecting all of my clients, not just myself. And I think there's a lot of little hacks that you could do too, but um, like your, your attitude like when they come, when, when those situations are happening is exactly what you said. Like you're treating, te teaching them how to treat you. Mm -hmm. Like for example, um, just not saying, well, cause one way that I do, um, treat my clients or teach my clients how to be on time all the time, every time is even if they're five or two minutes late, I message them like, and it's genuine. Like, I just want to make sure, cause usually my clients are here like two minutes early or right on time. And so I want to make sure they didn't forget. So they have time to like hurry and run down to the shop so they can keep their appointment. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Hey, you're coming in. Right. Like, and then usually they're like, Oh my gosh, I'm like, I didn't even realize that time it was, I'll be there in two seconds. I'm like, okay. You know, and it's just, it's genuine, but it's still 
they know that I'm going to be on them if they're not here. And right. that's not right for everybody's business. And I'm not saying it is, but, but that's you're how still showing them. I'm you're still showing, showing them, them that you're mindful of the time. That, that it matters to me because, um, and it's different. If I have no one after them, I might not message them. And that's me showing them that my time isn't that important today. And mm -hmm. it's not. I don't want to be stressed out today. I'll do your nails whenever you get here. Yeah. Sometimes it's fine. You're okay. You know, but you're showing them, you know. I am. And I would much rather send that text that says, hey, are you on your way? Versus, hey, I'm running 10 minutes late. Yeah. 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 So that's huge. So time, that's a big one. Another big client boundary that I think is important is making sure that we're sticking to the, your allotted and your set prices and not changing or adjusting prices varying on your client. I think that's a good boundary to have as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, um, a lot of times you can like I, don't, I think I've heard the advice too before of like some of raising your prices, but not for your established clients, just for like the new ones that can get so complicated. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I don't like to follow that because it's like, you know, you're still doing, you know, you're not honoring that. Like over time, that client that's like grandfathered in and not having to like adjust with everybody else you'll start to resent the energy exchange. I talk about this all the time, like that energy exchange, like you'll start to realize, um, like this happened to me the other day because I had a client get this service done, always big, big tipper, you know, mm -hmm. and then, um, a client right after them get the same service done, not so much a big tipper. And you just you yes. feel the energy exchange and you're like, huh, I did the same amount of effort, but I, it wasn't reciprocated. You know? yes. And so it, it really like, it can affect the way that you communicate with them, the energy and how like uplifting you are that day, you know, and you don't want to have to worry about that stuff. So you got to establish that, that firm, you know, boundary there. Yes, absolutely. And I find that anytime I do any kind of discount or offer any kind of like deal or do something complimentary, which with, if you're building your clientele, I recommend never discounting, but I do recommend throwing in a complimentary, you know, yeah. something small. But, yeah. but if I do that, I find that maybe I have a new client, they come in, they're late or whatever, they're already throwing me off. I'm offering in a complimentary service or upgrade. And then they not only are taking that extra time away, the energy exchange isn't there and they're not tipping as well because then, you know, it's like, Ugh. but then like you said, if I have a client that they pay full price, they're happy to pay full price. They value the effort and they, and they, a tip really well. So the people that are the price shoppers, I think are going to take advantage of you. And so it's important that you hold a firm boundary on your pricing. Yeah. Well. And the biggest thing with that is like, we worry about offending and we worry about who's going to come and go. But in reality, it, all, all boundaries come down to is you're deciding what type of client you want sitting across the table from you. Mm -hmm. And, and when the person is not the right type of person and they leave or they say something about that boundary, you got to remember that that's them raising their hand and being like, I'm not your ideal client. Right. Driving with me. And that, that doesn't mean, Oh, accommodate them. Right. You know, necessarily. It probably means, you know, stick to your boundaries so that they recognize that you're not their ideal nail tech. Exactly. They can go to someone else. Exactly. And again, this is your business. You went into this industry for the freedom and that is something that we have all worked very hard to earn. Hopefully you've worked very hard to earn that. And that that's something that you are going to respect yourself enough to hold those boundaries. And I'm trying to think of one more really good boundary. I think pricing and time is a big one. Maybe, and maybe to go off what you said too, is to not overly accommodate them very much because that can be taken for granted as well. I think sometimes I've, you know, I've been in positions where I've tried to like really go above and above beyond to accommodate one of my VIPs and it ended up going horribly where I just felt so taken for granted. 
you know, yeah, listen to your instinct on that one because it probably could have been a, a take it for granted situation. Um, mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you always want your client to leave like they feeling like they got more value than they, um, than they paid for so that they always feel on the upside of all that. But um, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's a perfect place to end the episode too, is to know your boundaries beforehand, hold to them, under promise and over deliver every time. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you. If you have any questions about it, um, send us your comments and your concerns when you are going through the same topic and same issues. So let us know. Absolutely. And thank you so much for watching and listening to beauty's talking business.com. You can find more about us over there on the website. Please like subscribe and comment. Bye. Bye. Client boundaries is certainly not the most easiest topic to discuss, but we hope that we helped you out. Andrea at Shine with Drea and Jenny at Jenny A. Hansen. Please head over to the Facebook community and join our community. And also like and subscribe. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs> I'm so excited that we're on iTunes. I think that's so fun. I'm, I'm like, I love it. So it's like, hey, podcast.